Hey, what's up you guys? So, I actually recorded this once, but I forgot to press record on the screen, so that didn't get saved, so I'm gonna redo it. Alright, today I'm just gonna be showing you guys how to draw an arm from the very beginning. And I'll also give you guys some tips and some pointers on anatomy. Alright. So here's the basic arm shape. The arms pretty much just like that. Two straight lines if you break it down into like stick figure shapes. Um, but you can keep going and, sorry, turn it into, I'm not sure why it's going all weird. Okay, and turn it into cylinder shapes for the arm. It's like that, that's pretty simple. And then there's an elbow right here. And the arm just connects right there. That's the hinge. And there's also the shoulder that sits right on top of it. And the shoulder goes over all of this. And when I started learning anatomy, I usually just learned the basic forms and where the muscles connected. So I'll show you guys in just a sec. Let me go back to the beginning. So, yeah, you can see with just two cylinder shapes, the elbow and a triangular shape for the shoulder, you pretty much have a simple arm right there. So, moving on to the next step, I just lightly raised this and went to here. So, actually, all of these I drew on paper yeah because i like working traditionally but i found it it was found that it was easier demonstrating on photoshop so i'm going to do that today um yeah so you know let me see what i want to show for this um i started drawing in the muscles right here you can see just loose muscle groups no like detailed muscles on the forearms and all that so I'm going to point out the groups. So you have the shoulder right here. You have the triceps. You have the bicep right here. And you have the forearm muscles. I'll just call it that. So those are the major groups of muscles on the, on the arm. Uh, let me go back a bit. And... Let me just point out, so I'll use red to show the places that are generally more straight and I'll use blue to show which places are um, more curved. So that's a curve right there, curve right there, and yeah, just just remember those curves of the arms and you'll have a pretty good idea of the forms. And let me go back a bit. And once again, I'm gonna use red to show the flat shapes. So the flat shapes right here. So hopefully this will give you a better idea of the form of the arm. And here's the shoulder. The shoulder is most definitely curved, so we'll add curved lines like that. Here's the tricep. The tricep's slightly curved too. Bicep's a little less curved, but it still is, so we'll add a little bit over there. Hopefully you guys can see that, and there's a slight curve on the forearm muscles as well. So, there. Um, yeah, so I hope that kind of shows you the forms of the arm. 
Um, all right, now we're just gonna move on from here. I kind of lightened it up and I just drew in the lines that I wanted. And here you can see the muscles. I'll go into a little more detail. So the shoulder right here, it's actually broken up into a couple different muscles. So I tend to only use three. Um, sometimes I see more done and it looks pretty good too, but generally there are three big masses on the shoulder. All right, and the tricep goes like this. Uh, usually, if the arm was just extended straight out, like that, the tricep would usually just look like this, more, more tight together. But when you bring it up, like that, the tricep kind of extends out. So you can see the difference here, and I'll also use this to demonstrate the bicep. So the bicep usually goes like that. And of course this is kind of out of proportion, but the bicep will go straight down and then curve a bit, but once it's flexed, it looks a lot more like that. So let me go back a bit. All right, and then we have the bony part wedged in over here in between the triceps. So there you go. That's the triceps right there. Um, the bicep's pretty straightforward. Um, it's going to be flexed over here since the arm is brought up. And then for the forearm, there's one major muscle right here uh yeah i'd say muscle muscles on the forearm are probably the most difficult to draw because when you turn your arm uh, these muscles change position so i might actually do a tutorial on that sometime but probably not for this video and let's see yeah there's that one major muscle, this one that comes out of it, right there, and then there are just a lot of extensors down here. So now that we have the basic anatomy down, we'll lighten up these marks and start adding light sources. So the light source is going to be coming from the upper left, so we're going to take away some of the lines like right here and yeah that's pretty much it I'm not gonna go in and connect every single line because then it just yeah I don't I don't like that very much when you connect everything so I'm only gonna draw in a couple of points so it doesn't um, look like I just connected everything together, so, like that. And, instead of drawing this whole muscle right here, I'm only gonna draw this part. Like that, since the light's coming in right here. So, moving on from here, I'm actually gonna add a few line weights, based on what I said before, and just whatever is away from the light is darker. And you can see, like, the light hits right here, 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 this whole place right here. And the darker parts are just whatever is facing away from the light, especially down here where it's completely turned. So, yeah. Alright, moving on. I'm going to actually add some shadows to this. So, first thing I want to cover is cast shadow so when the lights coming in from over here this is a huge muscle right here uh, let me just do that 
So the shoulder has its own shadow like that. And since it's such a big object or muscle, it's gonna cast a shadow right over here. And, and it won't make sense for this place to be very light, even though it's close to the light because there's a big shoulder in the way. And for these muscles like this right here, I pretty much do something like this. Since the light's coming from here. And for the extensors and forearm muscles, it's a little trickier since they're nice and long. I just cast a shadow down here. Like that. And then kind of give the muscle some of its own shadow. The form shadow instead of cast shadow. So, yeah. All right. And n now I'm going to move on to the... Um, the cross hatching. So, like this muscle right here, it's gonna look something like that. The light's coming down, I have lines going out towards the light, and then on either side I have these kind of lines. So there's kind of a transition from dark to light right here. And for these muscles right here, um, I shade them differently, just kind of smaller right here. Not for these, I don't do huge lines like that because and it just covers up the whole area and it doesn't look very nice. So yeah, that's about all I want to cover for today. And just let me know if you guys thought it was helpful and if I should do more of these on Photoshop. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have a full image of all the tutorial steps of this arm on my Instagram, so I'm gonna leave that down in the description below. Also, I'm gonna post another video showing you guys how to draw um, like some long sleeves and put some What's it called? Wrinkles in there. Or folds. Folds, I'm sorry. Folds in there and just fabric in general. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time.